Hey guys, it's Dance Life Love TV and I just wanted to share a couple of wonderful products that I picked up from Target the other day. And yes, they are lip products. Anyone who knows me knows that I love lipstick. Any lip color, lip stain, lip um, liquid lipstick, whatever it is, I love it. Um, just give me a good lipstick and I'm good. So what I did pick up was these two lipsticks and of course they are by Rimmel Cosmetics. I absolutely love Rimmel's lipsticks. Um, they never fail me. They have great pigmentation. They last um, a good time throughout the day. Of course, they're not um, a lip stain, so you're going to have to reapply throughout the day. But they are the best that I've used so far as far as like a drugstore brand that you can get at like Walgreens and Target and um, Rite Aid. So the first one the, that I picked up was, it's called the Best of the Best. And this is number 510. That's just how I say 510 or 510, whatever you want to say. But this one is part of their new line and it's called... Um, though only one lipstick. So yes, they are literally called the only one lipstick. And trust me, like after you use these, you will feel that way. Like this is the only lipstick that you need in your purse. The other one I did get was number 810. And this one is called one of a kind. So going back to best of the best, best of the best is this is what it looks like. This color, I will describe it as like a deep, ripe watermelon. That's how this color shows up on the lips, at least for me. Um, this is what it looks like. One of a kind. Now, when I first picked up one of a kind, I thought one of a kind was more of a dark, um, kind of reddish, raspberry color kind of like i had before and i was kind of concerned because i have a habit of buying the same freaking shade in different brands and i'm just i love pinks and reds and berries and so i'll tend to gravitate towards those colors but i sometimes buy the same shade and it's like i already have this so i thought that this was going to be that way i was really concerned about it but as you're going to see in a minute when I do swatch this on my lips, it's absolutely a totally different color than I thought. It is more of a dark cherry color, which I actually like because I've been looking for a long time for a lipstick that was more of a dark cherry. And I'm glad I stumbled across this one on Cosmetics. The, on, the other thing I got was these from Essence Cosmetics. And these two right here are the lip pencils and then this is the eyebrow pencil and let me tell you um the first time i've seen or seen essence cosmetics anywhere was at ulta and that was like years ago so recently um the target near me now carries essence brands and if you know anything about the essence cosmetic brand is that they're very inexpensive these each one of these costs a dollar 99 each and in some places, I'm pretty sure you can get these for like $1.49. So it's kind of like, I would say price point wise, like a Jordana or um, an NYC, I would say. But I feel like the consistency of these and just how they make their products is just better quality and you get more for your money. I can honestly say like these lip pencils are very pigmented. And I mean, this one, when I did my swatch of this one, just on my arm, you're going to see, I'm going to do swatches on my arm and then on my lips. I didn't realize that this is like kind of like an um, electric purple and it looks so good. And I just, I was like, I'm just going to wear this on its own because it looks that good. Um, and I would never have expected that from a product that only cost $1.99. I would have thought like, okay, you know, the color payoff's not going to be that great. It's going to, you know, be a little streaky. No, it's perfect. And then this one as well is perfect too. This is a perfect match to best of the best. So I put these two together and you'll see that later in the video. And then I did this one on its own. 
And then for this one, this is the eyebrow pencil. Uh, I did this one last, just so you guys can see. My eyebrows are pretty full. I really don't need to fill them in much, so I only fill them in just slightly. Um, but I, what I do like about this is that it comes with the brush here. The actual pencil itself is a very stiff pencil. I, I don't know exactly the words to describe it, but in all three of these, like, you can get a very precise application because they're very stiff. I've used other lip pencils and eyebrow pencils from other brands and more or less expensive brands that the actual product in the pencil, it's so soft that when you put it on, it's like it melts away into your skin and then you're having to resharpen the pencil. With these, you get more wear out of them, which I absolutely love because I don't like having to go back and sharpen my pencil 20 times in like one day. The last thing that I got was this and it's by e.l.f. Cosmetics and it is their extra lip gloss in Michael. Um, I would describe this color as, um, it's very pink. Um, it's like pink with like a dash of purple, like maybe in the lab when they were making it, they just like, okay, we're gonna add like a little drop of purple in there and some glitter and that's really what this is. I will swatch this later for you guys. Um, when I was finished with this one, it was a little more pink, whoops, a little more pink than I like. I tend to go for more of the warmer tones of pinks and purples. I don't go too light even though I could wear those. It's just a personal preference, preference of mine that I just don't wanna be walking out with like super pink lips. Um, the other thing that you'll see in my swatches later is I did use this lip pencil and this is for one of a kind because I felt like this was going to be a better, well, I thought it was going to be a better match for this one. But as you know, when I put this one on, it totally is a different shade than what I thought. But, um, this is by Rimmel as well. This one's in Cherry Kiss and this is a very um like purple it's more eh, it's kind of that's what it looks let's see if you can see oh that's what it looks like so it does have those like kind of purplish reddish undertones but it's not as dark as this one so but it was a good a good try
All right, so review time. So for the lipsticks, this is my final review. The things that I liked about these lipsticks are that they're very, very pigmented. They are very moisturizing. I actually had some lip balm on as I was doing the swatches, but I have worn these without the lip gloss, I mean the lip balm underneath, and they are very moisturizing. One thing I can say is that throughout the day, they are going to dry on the lips. So you might want to use a lip balm underneath or even you can use it on top, but just keep that in mind that the longer you wear them throughout the day, it is gonna dry out. But that is just a minor thing because these are fantastic. Will I purchase these again? Yes, I will absolutely purchase these again. They have so many other colors as well. I purchased these just because I felt that they would um, fit my skin tone a lot better than some of the other ones. But I will say that with these, you cannot judge a book by its cover. Even when you swatch it on your arm, it looks totally different than what it does when it's actually on your lips. So I will say, um, take a chance on these, buy them. These are called the, the one, the lips, the one and only lipstick. Oh my gosh, I'm like jacking this up. Let me look at the bottom. Okay, the only one lipstick, there we go. So this is the only one lipstick by Rimmel. That's the name of the brand. I mean, the name of the collection. Um, and these are fantastic. I bought this for $6.99 each. Um, you may be able to find them somewhere else cheaper, um, but I feel like they're totally worth the money because you definitely get that color payoff before. I know for me, I, I don't have an allergic reaction to it. Um, just everything about these are perfect. I actually have no complaint about these. Um, I would definitely, definitely buy these over and over and over again. I've used other Rimmel lipsticks and even the matte ones, the Kate Moss ones, I use those and those are fantastic. I love those, but I think I like these better, maybe. I don't know. I'll keep using them and, and we'll see how that works out. But like I said, Rimmel never fails me. Um, Rimmel, you did a great job on these. I will be purchasing other colors just because of how these showed up so differently on my lips and I actually love them. Um, I'm going to try maybe some of the the um, lighter colors that I felt maybe were going to be too light and see exactly how those settle on my lips and how I like those. So um, we will go from there. All right. So same thing with the essence. Um, I, again, I really have nothing bad to say about these. Like it's just one of those times, you know, when you find a great product and it works, you don't have to return it. You don't have to go try to find something else. Like these, these surprised me. These blew me away. So these again are definitely some products that you need to test out on your actual lips um, before you even make a final decision because testing them, swiping them on my arm, you know, it's one thing, but actually seeing these on my lips, particularly this Honeyberry, oh my gosh, I had no idea that it was gonna look like that. It This is a beautiful color. So, you know, don't sleep on Essence. Um, they're, they're inexpensive. They're a dollar 99. Don't let that fool you. Don't let, don't think like they're going to be whack because they're so, they're so inexpensive. No, give these a try because they are absolutely worth it. Again, I have nothing negative to say about any of these, not even the eyebrow pencil. Like I said, I love that. I love the formula. I love that. Um, the actual pencil itself is very, it, it's, it's stiff. I don't what, what's the correct term to, to use for that? I really don't know, but it's it's stiff. I don't have to keep sharpening it. It um it just does what it needs to do, and that's what I love. Um, the next would be uh, Elf, the extra lip gloss in Michael. For this one, um, it was very glossy. I don't usually wear lip glosses because I feel like my lips it just doesn't look that great on my lips. I have very full lips, so. I feel like for me, I just prefer more of a matte or like a semi matte on my lips. And then, you know, I used to love lip gloss when I was like a teenager and that was a long time ago and I'm a grown woman. So I don't really wear lip gloss anymore um, unless it's like a nude 
or it's something that's a light pinkish or peachish tone to it. So basically it just gives me that natural look. This I will say, um, I'm actually impressed with this too. And you know what, I just grabbed this because Target was offering um, a free like $5 gift card when you purchase $20 worth of cosmetics or bath and body products. And I was like three cents away and she's like, oh my gosh, you're only three cents away. Like go, you, go grab something. So I ran off and was like, okay, what can I get? I just need something to make up for this three cents. And then I saw these because I know e.l.f. Cosmetics are very inexpensive as well. Now, some e.l.f. Cosmetics I have been disappointed with um, and that has been in their lip glosses in the past where the pigmentation was just not there. Um, I will say that for lip glosses, it doesn't have like this icky smell. I know that's something that's a big concern when using a lip gloss as well as the way it feels on your lips. It's not sticky and gooey like some of the other lip glosses are and other brands. It actually goes on really smooth. There's no, there's no bad smell. There's no bad taste. Oh my gosh. I actually tried um, another brand, I won't say the name, but I tried another brand that was more of a higher, higher end brand. And oh my goodness, like the lip gloss was disgusting. And I, I took it back to Ulta. This was like a long time ago. Um, yeah, it was disgusting, but this one's actually perfect. It was only $2. So I, of course I was able to get my free gift card, but, um, I will definitely wear this. I might mix it with something else just to alter the color a little bit, because for me, it's a little pink. I don't usually do, um, very pink, pink, bright colors like that. Um, I tend to go for more of the warmer shades of like pinks and berries and uh, reds and stuff i don't usually do the bright stuff um, every now and then i might do it but when it comes to pink for sure i usually don't do like a bright pink i, I might do like a bright red or bright like more of the berries colors like a mixture or something but the pinks i usually keep it more warmer but um I probably will wear this on its own, but I have nothing really to complain about this. So I guess I just really lucked out when I went to Target that day. Uh, I really, I take my time when I shop. So particularly for cosmetics, because you never know. I have to see everything. I have to kind of get an idea of how it's going to look on me. Um, and when you're shopping in like drugstores, you really don't know because you can't take the product and test it because usually there are no testers. Not like when you go into Ulta and some of the higher end products, you can actually test it out on your skin and see how it works. And so um, I think I did very, very well for not being able to really test these products and just kind of going off of what I know as far as what colors and um, just certain shades and stuff that I've used before. And I did very well. So I honestly, all these products, I'll show them to you again, hands down, give it a try. Tell me what you think. If you are on a budget, these are great products to pick up. All three of these, all three of these brands are great brands. Um, Essence for sure. Essence lip, lip glosses, excuse me, lip glosses. Um, they're very good too. I remember trying one of their lip glosses like way back in like 2010 or something like that. And um, those were very pigmented as well. So those might actually be very similar to the, the Sephora lip glosses. So just like the regular Sephora lip glosses that are kind of meant for every day, um, Essence would be a good brand to go, go for if you just want to save a little bit of money. Um, but this is Essence brand, e.l.f. and Rimmel Cosmetics. So perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have tried out any of these products and any of these brands. Let me know how they work for you. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.